the bad guy in Hollywood. From the silver screen's early days, he's played a major role in the success of the American cinema, giving evil a human form. In the name of Allah, I kill you all! The reality is, good villains can mean big box office. But are the bad guys spreading intolerance or discrimination? It just seems like the villains are always um, of some ethnicity. The Italians are always related to the mafia, and Arabs are always related to terrorists. Actor Saeed Badreya has made a career out of playing the Arab villain, so it's hardly a stretch for him to brandish a gun on the set of his latest movie. Only now, he's trying to explode the very stereotype he had a part in creating. T for terrorist. The film takes the typical action movie with its stock Arab bad guy and turns it on its head. It's about an Arab-American actor sick and tired of playing a terrorist role. Though he's racked up an impressive list of credits, Badrea had hoped for more in Hollywood. Growing up in Egypt, he took refuge from poverty and war in theaters, watching American movies and good guy heroes like John Wayne. I came here because the magic of cinema. But since attending New York University Film School, he has made his bread and butter playing the Arab menace. And I believe a lot of roles as a terrorist, and it, it a lot of people get bothered by that. Saeed Badrea accepts this reality for now, and he says complaints or protests alone won't change how Arabs are portrayed on screen. You don't fight the system in Hollywood. You become part of the system, so you can change it from inside. In his latest project, Badrea is acting and producing, working to change the prevailing image of the Arab by pushing it to an extreme for comic effect. Saeed plays a frustrated Arab actor who reaches his breaking point after a director drives him too hard. And I thought, why not become the hero and let the American guy be the terrorist? It's a plot twist that flies in the face of a century of cinema stereotypes. Saeed Badrea doesn't want Arabs to get stuck in Hollywood's time machine. Fire eternally playing the villains. Taking a cue from other actors and directors, he's telling his own story, staring down the Arab stereotype and turning it on its head. This scene has played out so many times on screen, it has become a cliche. A gun-wielding okay, Middle Eastern fanatic terrorizes a group of innocent people. But on the set of Saeed Badreya's T for Terrorist, it's being played for ironic effect. As a filmmaker, uh, uh, Arabic American filmmaker, my weapon is the camera. My weapon is the image. I am the storyteller. And instead of putting your, a gun in your head to listen to my story, I'm going to tell it to you. Saeed Badrea is taking matters into his own hands. Okay. In this pivotal scene, he turns the tables on Hollywood. And you, you be the terrorist. I be the hero. Killing stereotypes with humor and future hopes for Arab Americans in Hollywood. Saeed Badrea hopes Arab Americans can follow a similar course. We have a lot of story to tell and make a lot of money, but we have to tell it. The American filmmaker will not make a good film about Sadat. I will not make a good film about Kennedy. So we left a message that dream is possible, but you have to work for it and you have to work hard and you have to be determined 100%. If not, you're not gonna be able to do it. Other ethnic groups have fought the same battles as Arab Americans and succeeded, making Hollywood more diverse. Yet the Arab struggle for acceptance underscores an age-old question. Do movies shape public opinion, or does public opinion shape the movies? You are a very patient man, my friend. You need to stand up for yourself inside. Not all Arab are terrorists, and not all American are heroes. There's got to be another way to make people hear you. I'm just a sick and tired of being seen one way. 
today, I will change all of this. I'm taking over your cell. You be the parent. I be the hero. In the name of Allah, I will kill you all! Why in the name of Allah? Because that's what terrorists say. Not all terrorists. In the name of Jesus Christ! Get down when you're thinking American! Put the gun down, buddy. But I was sent here to give you some advice. Tonight, a look at Hollywood terrorism and the actors chosen to play terrorists. Some Arab American actors are fed up having to play terrorists du jour. They say they've had enough of playing the bad guy, and they say they're betraying who they are, their people, and that's all for the sake of achieving their own personal dream. Showbiz tonight, Sabila Vargas joins us now from Hollywood with one such story. Sabila. That's right, AJ. As you know, in Hollywood action films these days, the bad guys are usually terrorists. More likely, they're Arab. That's not an image that sits too well with many Arab Americans. I sat down with one Hollywood tough guy who's trying to change all that. Saeed Badreya oh loves his adopted country. America. Right. I love America. <laughs> his children. Yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm very lucky. Yeah. And the Duke. I, I watch John Wayne when I grow up. The Egyptian-born actor is a big fan of the USA, but on screen he couldn't be more anti-American. Because of his Arabic looks, Hollywood most often casts him in the role of a terrorist. That's him in The Insider and True Lies. He's a Muslim hijacker in executive decision. He's played terrorist so often, it made an impression on his young daughter. The teacher asked my daughter what your father do for a living. And, uh, you know, he asked all the kids and someone said, I'm a do my father is a doctor, <laughs> my father is an engineer. And he came to Julia and she said, my father hijacked aeroplane. He's developing a feature film called American East, which he says will offer a more balanced view of Arab Americans. It will star Badrea's friend, Tony Shalhoub, who is of Lebanese descent. Shalhoub and Badrea have started a program to fund movies by Arab American filmmakers. Do you ever feel like you're, you're sort of, you know, selling your soul to the devil? All the time. All the time. But you know something? To make my movie, I can deal with the devil. To tell my story, I can deal with the devil. I can lie and manipulate the devil as he does it to me. It's life. It's America. It's America. That's America. Then he drinks his Starbucks. Yeah, but you know, it's kind of an interesting issue, you know, does he feel like he's selling his own people down the river? And you actually, I think you hear the similar thing many actors will say, I do the indies and then I do the blockbuster. I do what I believe in, so, and, but I do the blockbusters to fund what I believe in, which is what I really want to do, but I can't just do what I believe in. Yeah, so what's he, and plus, what's he going to do, turn all the acting jobs down, not make any money, not follow his, his dream? His conscience is poking at him, clearly. It's money talks louder sometimes. Yeah. You know, and plus he can affect change when he's in the business, right? Right, right. right. Imagine what it would be like to be an Arab American actor or actress trying to get a job as a leading man or woman in a movie or a television show these days. Do you take the role of a terrorist or Islamic radical that you're offered? Or do you say, hey, no thanks and hope that that good guy role is going to come along anytime soon? A lot of actors are saying that those are the tough choices that they are facing and they're blaming Hollywood for putting them in this predicament. Terrorist. Terrorist. Arab American actor Syed Badreya. For much of his career, Hollywood offered him only one kind of role. Terrorist. That's the only role was available for me. 14 years I have one line. In the name of Allah, I will kill you all. That's it. Every movie I go in, in the south, somehow I end up with that line. Badrea are working independently to change the Arab stereotype. 100% of movie done about Arab is written by a white guy. Badrea co-wrote and stars in the upcoming feature film American East, which isn't about terrorists, but an Arab family man who opens a Middle Eastern restaurant with his Jewish friend. understand why you want to live here. This is a good country. You will see. Our movie star. Don't tell me. They're gonna have you play terrorist again. Action! 
action. We are the soldiers of Allah. Right. How can you marry a man you don't even know? It's tradition. I'd love to open a real restaurant, like back home. Who is Sam? Sam the Jew? And my accountant ran the numbers. Looks pretty good. <laughs> it's a great Sam. Why am I a Muslim? Because I am Muslim. Can we get a Christmas tree? Who want to have their money tied up with some Muslim? I'm sorry. It's okay. They have frozen all your assets. I still believe in this country. What are we going to do? We're going to live our life. Muslims give something up to live here. But is it worth it? You on their side now? You forget who you are. You turn around and back out now, I'll never be able to book you again. You want to have dinner with me? We'd like to bring you in for questioning, if you don't mind. Come with us! All right, welcome again to Politically Incorrect. Let me introduce our panel for you tonight. This is uh, Saeed Badreya. He is an actor, and his latest project is Saving Egyptian Film Classics. And of course, to his right. As an Arab or Muslim, our responsibility to tell people who we are. Because nobody knows us. You don't know me because you think about the people who does that, and automatically you look at me. But as an Arab and as Muslim, mm -hmm. we are a wonderful people. We have the same dream and the same struggle. And I grew up in poor side Egypt. And during the war, I was a little kid, go to the movie theater and hide and watch American movie. Oh. And here I am, come here so. because movie, because America. And I love this country and part of it, my heart is aching. Now I might ask you, to finish with her, why did you come to America? My dream, America allowed me, just allowed me to be who I am. And if I come here, well, you're and, making and I'm bringing my being a Muslim, or also being Egyptian, bring it here and be part of the America, part of the beauty of America, all mixed, and, and know about us, and know who we are. We are a wonderful people, I'm and not... we have uh, so much to give. I didn't leave Egypt to because the culture, I left because the opportunity America gonna give me, and I bring that with me, the beauty of being But why Egyptian. wasn't the opportunity there? Our grandfather I'm, I'm, before me, your grandfather and grandfather, all of us came to America because it's the land of opportunity, and this is not but, just a cliche, this is real. Look at me, I'm exactly yes. what they're looking for, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're so cute. I, uh, right. But I have the heart of America yes, because you what do. it brought me, what it brought me here is the heart of America, and we're all in this together. <laughs> we, as an Arab American and American, I believe in the Constitution of the United States, and two weeks is okay. But in the end, I know the law in this nation will take me and said, Said Badria is a nice guy. Two weeks is okay. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah, exactly. You know, Two weeks is okay. He's a nice guy. I think it's written right in the well, Constitution. I, 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 you know, I, I, I think, I think, I think uh, he did plenty of stuff before this that we should have killed him for long ago. Right. But we, we don't need proof for this. No, no, no. See, the thing is, this administration... We, we tried to kill him before. We just didn't try bad enough. Talk to the language we've been speaking. Killing, killing, killing. I think the Mideast need another Sadat. Need yes, another Rabin? Absolutely. Need, need someone to speak. Anwar Sadat. Yeah. There need... was a hero. I have to take a break, but yes, you are so correct about that. My journey is, as Egyptian American is to tell the story of a dreamer. Have an agenda, have something to fight for, have something to fill you with love and passion, and that will get you where you are you want to go. You sometimes, as an American, forget how the movie influence the people outside of America. We can send them plane and weapon and all that stuff, but in the end, what it work, sending them a dream to all the American filmmakers. He making a difference all over the world. Your story 
give the people dreams, the people in the ghetto all over the world. You do make a difference with your story when you make a movie. It's not for America only, it's for the world.